Hinduism and Sikhism are both Indian religions. Hinduism is an older religion, while Sikhism was founded in the 15th century by Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Both religions share many philosophical concepts such as karma, dharma, mukti, maya, and samsara. In the days of Mughal rule, the Sikh community came to the defense of Hindus who were being forcibly converted to Islam. Guru Nanak was the first to raise his voice against Babur, the Muslim ruler of India. History of similarities and differences Scholars state that the origins of Sikhism were influenced by the Nirguni formless God tradition of Bhakti movement in medieval India. The roots of the Sikh tradition perhaps in the San tradition of India whose ideology grew to become the Bhakti tradition. Furthermore, Indic mythology permeates the Sikh sacred canon, the Guru Granth Sahib and the secondary canon, the Dasam Granth and adds delicate nuance and substance to the sacred symbolic universe of the Sikhs of today and of their past ancestors. Iconography <inaudible> 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 Ik Ankar, iconically represented as, in the Sri Guru Granth Sahib although sometimes spelt out in full as Ekakaru is the iconographic statement in Sikhism that is, there is one God. The phrase is an expression of monotheistic unity of God, the Ankar in, of Sikhism is related to Om, Om of Hinduism. Some Sikhs disagree that Ik Ankar is same as Om. Ankar is, states Wazir Singh, a variation of Om a -U -M of the ancient Indian scriptures with a slight change in its orthography, implying the seed force that evolves as the universe." In Ek Ankar, explains Gulati, Ek means one, and Ankar is equivalent of the Hindu Om. A -U -M. However, both of them are different as far as Sikhs believe because Oankar refers to the total primary Lord God. Guru Teg Bahadur Ji During the Mughal Empire period, the Sikh and Hindu traditions believe that Sikhs helped protect Hindus from Islamic persecution, and this caused martyrdom of their guru. The Sikh historians, for example, record that the Sikh movement was rapidly growing in northwest India, and Guru Teg Bahadur Ji was openly encouraging Sikhs to be fearless in their pursuit of just society, he who holds none in fear, nor is afraid of anyone, is acknowledged as a man of true wisdom." A statement recorded in Adi Granth 1427. While Guru Teg Bahadur influence was rising, Aurangzeb had imposed Islamic laws, demolished Hindu schools and temples, and enforced new taxes on non Muslims. According to records written by his son Guru Gobind Singh Ji, the Guru had resisted persecution, adopted, and promised to protect Kashmiri Hindus. The Guru was summoned to Delhi by Aurangzeb on a pretext, but when he arrived with his colleagues, he was offered to abandon his faith and convert to Islam. Guru Teg Bahadur and his colleagues refused, he and his associates were arrested, tortured for many weeks. The Guru himself was beheaded in public. <laughs> <laughs> differences <laughs> Monotheism versus pluralism Sikhism is a monotheistic religion. Sikhs believe there is only one God, who has infinite qualities and names. According to Eleanor Nesbitt, English renderings of Sikhism as a monotheistic religion tend misleadingly to reinforce a Semitic understanding of monotheism, rather than Guru Nanak's mystical awareness of the one that is expressed through the many. However, what is not in doubt is the emphasis on one. Hinduism is a diverse system of thought with beliefs spanning monotheism, polytheism, panentheism, pantheism, monism, agnosticism, deism and atheism. Caste system Hinduism splits people into four groups, namely Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishyas and Shudras. But the terms Varna theoretical classification based on occupation and Jati caste are two distinct concepts. Jati community refers to the thousands of endogamous groups prevalent across the subcontinent. A Jati may be divided into exogamous groups based on the same gatras. The classical authors scarcely speak of anything other than the Varnas, even Indologists sometimes confuse the two. Sikhism treats all people equally and founds systems such as Langar and Pangat to help play this out in daily life. 
Once a person initiates into the Khalsa Sikh baptism, it is said that they no longer belong to any caste. This, however, does not imply that the practice of caste hierarchy is absent within the adherence of Sikhism. Caste hierarchy is generally a social reality within the Indian subcontinent regardless of religious affiliation. Topic. Vedantic philosophy for all castes Guru Gobind Singh founded the Nirmal school to help teach Sanskrit and classical Hindu literature, which was then was primarily only available to the higher caste Brahmins. The Guru in this way translated many Hindu works into Punjabi. Topic. Rituals Sikhs believe in Nam Jap meditation, and focus on listening to the hymns from Guru Granth Sahib, the central religious scripture of Sikh faith. The Guru is the focal point of worship in any Sikh Gurdwara, and the worshippers bow before it. Guru Granth Sahib is installed every morning and put to bed at night in many Gurdwaras. Different schools of Hinduism have different theories about rituals and on salvation. Moksha. However, they are primarily based around puja devotional worship to a personal deity, often using an idol or murti, and yajna ritual non-human, non-animal sacrifice. Topic. Idol worship Sikhs shun idol worship as a part of their faith. Hindus accept the worship facilitated with images or murtis idols, particularly in agamic traditions, such as Vaishnavism and Shaivism. Some scholars state it is incorrect to state that all Hindus worship idols, and more correct to state that for some the idol is a means to focus their thoughts, for some idol is a manifestation of spirituality that is everywhere, and for some even a linga, a sunrise or a river or a flower serves the same purpose. Hindu temples are called mandirs, while Sikh temples are called gurdwaras. However, the most famous Sikh shrine is called Hari Mandir. Topic. Soteriology. The Sikh concept of salvation is similar to some schools of Hinduism, and it is called mukti moksha, referring to spiritual liberation. It is described in Sikhism as the state that breaks the cycle of rebirths. Mukti is obtained according to Sikhism, states Singha, through God's grace. In the teachings of the Sikh scripture Guru Granth Sahib, the devotion to God is viewed as more important than the desire for mukti. Sikhism recommends Nam Simran as the way to Mukti, which is meditating. The six major orthodox schools of Hindu philosophy offer diverse soteriological views on moksha, including whether moksha can be achieved in this life, or after this life. The Naya, Vaisesika, and Mimamsa schools of Hinduism consider moksha as possible only after death. Samkhya and Yoga schools consider moksha as possible in this life. In Vedanta school, the Advaita sub school concludes moksha is possible in this life. The Dvaita and Visistadvaita sub-schools of Vedanta tradition, highlighted by many poet saints of the Bhakti movement, believe that moksha is a continuous event, one assisted by loving devotion to God, that extends from this life to post-mortem. Beyond these six orthodox schools, some heterodox schools of Hindu tradition, such as Karvaka, deny there is a soul or after-life moksha. Topic. Dietary requirements Hinduism does not explicitly prohibit eating meat, but it does strongly recommend ahimsa, the concept of non-violence against all life forms including animals. As a consequence, many Hindus prefer vegetarian or lacto-vegetarian lifestyle, and methods of food production that is in harmony with nature and compassionate, respectful of other life forms as well as nature. The tenets of Sikhism do not advocate a particular stance on either vegetarianism or the consumption of meat, but rather leave the decision of diet to the individual. Sikh sects and groups that have a Vaishnavite influence AKJ, GNNSJ, 3HO, Namdaris etc. tend to be vegetarians. Other Sikhs eat meat that has been prepared by the Jatka method meat prepared by sudden death of the animal, and consider only that meat as expressly forbidden that is ritually slaughtered like kosher or halal kutha meat, the meat of animals prepared by slowly bleeding it to death. H. S. Singha explains the Jatka meat requirement to have support in the Hindu tradition as well, as follows According to the ancient Aryan Hindu tradition, only such meat as is obtained from an animal which is killed with one stroke of the weapon causing instantaneous death is fit for human consumption. 
However, with the coming of Islam into India and the Muslim political hegemony, it became a state policy not to permit slaughter of animals for food, in any other manner, except as laid down in the Quran, the halal meat prepared by severing the main blood artery of the throat of the animal while reciting verses from the Quran. Guru Gobind Singh took a rather serious view of this aspect of the whole matter. He, therefore, while permitting flesh to be taken as food repudiated the whole theory of this expiatory sacrifice and the right of ruling Muslims to impose it on the non-Muslims. Accordingly, he made Jaka meat obligatory for those Sikhs who may be interested in taking meat as a part of their food. <laughs> Similarities Both Hindus and Sikh are cremated after death. Both believe in karma. Both Sikhs and Hindus revere the concept of a guru. Hindus and Sikhs use the word atma or atman to describe the self, soul. In the Hindu and Sikh traditions, there is a distinction between religion and culture, and ethical decisions are grounded in both religious beliefs and cultural values. Both Hindu and Sikh ethics are primarily duty-based. Traditional teachings deal with the duties of individuals and families to maintain a lifestyle conducive to physical, mental and spiritual health. These traditions share a culture and world view that includes ideas of karma and rebirth, collective versus individual identity, and a strong emphasis on spiritual purity. One, The notion of dharma, karma, moksha are very important for both Hindus and Sikhs. Unlike the linear view of life, death, heaven or hell taken in Abrahamic religions, for Hindus and Sikhs believe in the concept of samsara, that is life, birth and death are repeated, for each soul, in a cycle until one reaches mukti or moksha. Topic. Culture and intermarriage There is an organic relation of Sikhs to Hindus, states Zainer, both in religious thought and their communities, and virtually all Sikhs' ancestors were Hindus. Some Hindus view Sikhism as a tradition within Hinduism such as some Hindus referring to Sikhs as Keshtari Hindus, even though the Sikh faith is a distinct religion. Historically, Sikhs were seen as the protectors of Hindus and were even considered the sword arm. Of Hinduism. This status as protectors of Hindus was strong enough that Punjabi Hindus would often raise their eldest son as a Sikh. Marriages between Sikhs and Hindus, particularly among Khatris, are frequent. Dagra states that there has always been intermarriage between the Hindu and the Sikh communities. Charing and Cole state that, Sikhism originated and developed within Hinduism. Hindus and Sikhs, in initial years of Sikhism, used to have what is termed as roti bedi di sanj, that is they eat together and intermarry." William Owen Cole and Piara Singh Sambi state that for some Sikhs, intermarriage between Hindus and Sikhs of same community was preferable than other communities. In the past, Sikh scriptures were treated as part of the corpus of the sacred writing of Hindus. See also Nanakpanthi Islam and Sikhism References Cited sources Shackle, Christopher, Mandare, Arvind Pal Singh Teachings of the Sikh Gurus, Selections from the Sikh Scriptures. United Kingdom, Routledge, XIIIXIV. ISBN 0-415-26604-1. Rosetta William, Sikh Gurus, Har Anand Publications PVT Limited, India, 2002, First Edition, ISBN 8124107165. Bhavan Singh, 1995, Biography of Guru Nanak, Hemkant Press, India, 1995, Sixth Edition, ISBN 81-7010-162-X. Topic. Further reading K. P. Agrawala, Adi Shri Guru Granth Sahib Ki Mahima Hindi. The Greatness of the Original Sacred Guru Scripture. Elst, Konrad, Who is a Hindu? 2001. ISBN 81-85990-74-3-2 Rajendra Singh Nirala, Hem Hindu Hain, 1989. Ham Hindu Kion, 1990. Delhi, Voice of India. E. Trump. Adi Granth or the Holy Scripture of the Sikhs, Munshiram Manoharlal, Delhi 1970. 
McLeod, W. H. Sadface, ed., Textual Sources for the Study of Sikhism. Manchester University Press, Manchester 1984, Who is a Sikh? The Problem of Sikh Identity. Clarendon Press, Oxford 1989. Harjit Abaroy, The Construction of Religious Boundaries, Culture, Identity, and Diversity in the Sikh Tradition, University of Chicago Press 1994. Rajendra Singh, Sikha Itihasa Mine Rama Janmapum. Swaroop, Ram, Hindu Sikh Relationship. Voice of India, Delhi 1985. Wither Sikhism? Voice of India, Delhi 1991. Talib, Gurbakan 1950. Muslim League Attack on Sikhs and Hindus in the Punjab 1947. India, Shiromani Gurdwara Prabhandak Committee. Online 1 Online 2 Online 3 A free copy of this book can be read from any three of the included online sources of this free online book.